So, uh, right before, actually the hour before this stream, I was perusing through some old, uh, some old images, some old projects, uh, mostly screen caps and some art assets and some temp and work in progress stuff. And it's really interesting to kind of reflect uh, on these old projects because mostly um, they bring back memories of me and uh, what was going on in my life around that time, uh, which is really interesting. Um, and some of these projects were stretching back, you know, as far as 10 years, which is pretty, pretty crazy. Um, so yeah, so the reason I was doing that is because um, uh, 13 years ago, I signed up for a, one of those image hosting services. And recently, like maybe recently, maybe not so recently, they changed uh, their policy where you can't share it on third-party uh, third uh, websites, which is the whole reason I signed up with them in the first place in 2004. So um, I, I, just, I, I tried to download all my images and they wouldn't let me, so I had to manually download all the images and I moved them over to my current, uh, current solution. So that was an interesting trip down memory lane. Um, but how about, how about let's go down a a much shorter trip uh, down memory lane. How about let's go to this past week uh, in Delver. That sounds like a more more interesting uh, a memory memory lane walk. So let's do this. So let's look at, nope, not that Joshua. Let's do, let's do it this way. Uh, git status, I'm up to date. Uh, then let's do my git log one line. Uh, it's been a pretty busy week. Yeah, so I uh, finished up the arrow bombs. Um, I did some work. Um, uh, I, I don't know if I spoke about this or not, but... Um, um, whoa! Hey, no field. Thanks for the subscribe, man. I appreciate it. And Victor, I'm doing great, man. Um, yeah, so... So um, part of uh, the, the, I guess, the architecture of Delver is uh, we have a concept of directional entities. And those are the things like the meshes, and whatnot that can be rotated. And um, there are sprites, which can't be rotated because they handle that themselves. Um, but uh, uh, the arrows were kind of a weird case where they are technically an item, uh, but they have direction. So basically what I did is to make that, uh, to make that work, I, um, I extracted an interface out of directional entity, and I just called it directional. And then what it is is directional entity implements directional. And then this, uh, the missile or the arrow thing implements directional. And then that way we can get nice rotations in the editor. Um, so you can place uh, arrows in the editor now, which I, I need to do eventually. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate that. Yeah, no, as, as Chad is talking about, like if you have Twitch Prime, you get a free sub. Uh, and it helps. If you throw it my way, it certainly helps me out. And I appreciate that. It's like, uh, again, I consider my... Um, it's, it's like subscribing to me, just like a tip in the tip jar, you know, it just shows your support and I appreciate that greatly. Okay. So this was all me talking about my uh, interface for directional rotations for arrows. Um, Ooh, so air monsters know how to shoot entities is protected out now. So the chat added this. So I don't think we'll actually get around to adding it for Delver. Maybe, maybe not, but, um, uh, monsters can now shoot like arrows and, and the like, which is pretty cool to see. Uh, it actually works out pretty well. And Chad added a archer monster to. Uh, illustrate that um and then i added force bombs they're okay um they they basically push things out in a radius um yep so again uh i'm trying to keep everything in the surprises uh special so um chad added another drop a gold drop in the, in the surprises so i added another piece of art for that um me just making these wall decor blocks double-sided sometimes they were getting rotated incorrectly so fixing that um so yeah, there were, there was some, um, a lot, since we work in Java, it's a, which is a managed, uh, uh, a managed language, we have a lot of cache pools. So this is what this is. We have a, a cache pool for our, uh, access line bounding boxes. And there's some changes there that broke some things, uh, namely they broke doors. Uh, so it looks like Chad rolled that back. Um, uh, bug fixes, arrows are not responding to the hits. That's good. Some people, occasionally people would say that arrows, uh, weren't hitting entities. Uh, cause basically how arrows work is we. Uh, is every every frame we calc their new position and then we do a ray cast from the old to the new and that should work but i guess there's there's something that was not quite right so chad is shoring that up um surprise monsters so yeah so i want the the surprises also to have little monsters so i made a spider a little teeny tiny spider that jumps around um 
he's kind of uh, again trying to make trying to make this like the breakables like a, there's a risk reward factor like you might get something good or you might get like a bomb or you might get a monster so just playing around with that um i think chad finally got in the uh attack animations not gonna have sprite animations um using the start text off at the start text offset and the in text offset which is part of the lerped uh uh like the lerp 3d stuff um yeah and this is fixing up animations when when, when done playing uh, i th i think it either it either holds the the first or the last frame of the animation i can't quite remember uh yeah fixing player if i'm being able to frob door sometimes um if, if you folks aren't used to um game industry lingo frob um basically means for the player to interact with something like uh, a frobable object is something you could usually use uh, I'm not sure where the frob comes from, but it, it's just a term that we use uh, pretty, pretty, or at least a lot of folks use uh, in, the, in the game dev community. Shader tweak, waterfall tweak, um, starting revamp level up UI. Yay! So I want to preview this before we get going too far. Um, is the the new level up uh, UI that Chad is working on? Um, Water shader OS X. Yeah, that, that's something I've noticed. Is our, our shaders. Um, they 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 tend to be pretty platform uh um what is the word they're not really platform specific but they they behave quite differently on different platforms so they like we need to definitely we definitely need to be more careful about testing those on both uh all, all of our platforms um uh, ooh, a disoriented status effect ooh that's beautiful all right more status effects equals more chaos. I love that. Cool. So let's uh, let's take a look at this level up screen and then see if we can get this whole disoriented uh, stuff going on. So let's launch up IntelliJ and let's go into just, actually for, for if you're new here, let me go ahead and play a little bit of Delver just so you know what I'm talking about. So I didn't even do that on the top. Usually I do that here. Let me yeah. Since we have some folks here, let me go ahead and just do my little spiel. So even though I'm like 10 minutes in already, geez. But hey, uh, I'm Joshua, and this is um, my Delver development stream. Um, geez, I'm off today. Yeah, today's August 27th, 2017, and every Sunday I work on Delver. I've been doing it for over a year now, or at least every Sunday over a year, which is pretty cool. Uh, the website's behind my head here. It's delvergame.com. It is a procedural dungeon crawler with fantasy roguelike rogue -like and first-person shooter elements. We are available in early access on Steam for $7.99. Um, we are pushing hard to get this finished up. Uh, I keep saying within a few weeks, and every few weeks I keep saying the same thing, but we're trying to get it close. We have a short list. Um, so when I finish up the surprises and the level up stuff, I think I'm pretty much done. Um, there might be some odds and ends here and there, but that's the big, the last big stuff I have is finishing up the surprise system and then helping Chad finish up the level up system. Uh, we also have a humble widget if, you, if that's your thing. You also get a Steam key. Uh, right now, Steam is the most up-to-date build until we release, and then we will worry about our other platforms. But yeah, here's Delver. Let me just erase this and start with fresh data. Cool. So yeah, so this is the start area. It serves as the hub. You can uh, buy stuff here. You can listen to music. You can get story, tutorial. All that good stuff. Um, yeah, but let's just go down into the dungeon. Um, so every dungeon floor is procedurally generated, so it's going to be different every time you play. Like, there was a bomb right off the bat there, and a, a decent uh, weapon. So let me take that. And I'll hang it to my dagger for the time being. Yeah, so my surprise system is, is, is a lot around these breakables, either dropping good or bad things, or interesting things, I should say, rather. Um, also, do note, if you take the time to break all the breakables, uh, you're going to wear through your items really quick. So uh, what I'm doing here probably isn't actual... Whoa, there we go. See, uh, why didn't you... Oh, there you go. Now you're jumping. Yeah, there's my little debug... Or not my debug. There's my little uh, surprise spider guy. I, th I think I might I might shimmy... Or I might change the, the animation a little bit so he jumps uh, earlier rather than later. Okay, it looks... There's something wrong with the wall decorator there. Seems to be off by 90 degrees. Take a look at that. Yep, yep. That's bad. That's bad. Oh, oh! And I, I drank a potion and tried to help myself, and it, oh, it slowed me down. No. Uh, 
Hey, Dr. Kegel. So let's try this again. Um, <laughs> let me bang a little bit further. Yeah. Ooh, excellent iron sword. That's what I want. There we go. It breaks some stuff. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so what Chad is working on is the new level up screen. So let's take a peek at that. Uh, level up. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, yeah, so uh, magic up, agility up, and defense up. Um, cool, and he added the descriptions, which is good. Um, hopefully a little bit less mystery meat. When you hover, uh, you get the little animations up on the cards, which is good. Um, again, this is all this is all temporary art. Uh, I need to go back through and uh, tweak it, but we want to have little cards that when you uh, when you level up, we, we definitely like um, we we kind of show you. We're trying to do a couple things here, like when you when you do the level up, um, maybe we'll have a shuffle sound here, so we know that. That you're choosing from a subset of the uh, the available options, and I think um, hopefully these seem clickable. Uh, not quite sure. Um, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Very nice. And I think right now this is only hooked up in the debug menu. I think um I think otherwise it um uh if if I were to level up just through gameplay it wouldn't actually show. Yeah. Uh, nice bow. Oh. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it, the spider was pretty quick to animate. I think I got it done in a day. Just trying to keep it really simple, keep it basic. All it does is jump and attack uh, and die. So again, try not to trying to keep all this stuff ah, pretty pretty simple. Yeah, there's a bomb. Let me grab that. There's a bomb. Oh, okay, there was a bomb there. Uh, let me eat the steak. Let me get this out here. Let me see if I can bomb somebody before I go away. Also, too, if you drop a bomb in water, you will make it wet, and wet bombs just don't work. Yeah! There we go. Nice. There should be plenty of enemies to shoot in here. Lots of breakables. Ah! You should only have a very mi whoa! I missed with my throw. A very minimal amount of health on this guy, and I drank poison. Lovely. Uh, that's that's a good way to end a run. Uh, put on the skull cap. Okay, somebody died here and dropped some armor. Sneak by. It's not not good armor. I can ignore it. Slip that candlestick into my bag because it's worth some money. Oh, don't get me! Yeah! Oh! Whew. Got lucky on that one. I think my armor kicked in and I uh, didn't die, which is nice. Um, so another designy thing is um, whenever you can see areas. Um, uh, I'm, I'm glad you guys like the spider. Uh, hey, Weez202. Um, I appreciate that. Yeah, 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 it's always it's always nice. Uh, so yeah, so if you're new, this is me playing Delver. Uh, I'm going to do some work here in a little bit. Right now I'm just playing, so if you're new, this is probably an okay way to find out. Uh, but yeah, so just a little design thing. I used to, um, years ago when we were building, yeah, four, four or five years ago when we were building the first area of Delver, I included a lot of these areas like this where you couldn't get to. Um, because I wanted the world to feel bigger than it was. Um, but for the most part, this just frustrated folks because they wanted to be able to get there and they couldn't. Um, so I 
in the, the dungeon area refresh, I've removed all those spots. So basically now, if you see a spot, you can you can certainly get to it. It might be tricky or like a secret uh, way to get there, but you can get to every spot that's visible. Ah, crap. I've tried to scoot all these out away from the wall, but sometimes they still get too close to the wall, which is a shame. I grab that bomb because I can use that bomb. Yep, oh, another bomb. I have lots of bombs. Let me just use a bomb to open the door. There we go. Who needs who needs to use uh, doorknobs when you have bombs? Nice. Uh, let me get my my fire wand out and maybe blow some people up that way. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm probably okay for this this level. I don't think I'm no no nothing nothing should really. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, as I say that, right before I, I get killed by. Uh, there we go. That's uh, not that good of a mace. And there's nothing of value over here. Why did I go over here? I should be going this way. And there is a map. You can bring up the map with the M key. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. Let me just also see if I can blast all these two to. Oh yeah, there's a couple of spiders. Yikes. Ah. Oh man, they're gonna tear me up. Let's uh, see if I can end them. There we go. Cool. And that was the right potion to drink. Uh, potions don't—you don't know what they do until you drink them, and uh, they have then they have a chance to identify themselves after you drink them. It's, it's a pretty high chance. Um, there are other ways to figure out what they do without actually drinking them. Uh, ooh, iron hammer. Let's let's grab let's grab that. Uh, seems like a good way to knock down some doors. There we go. That feels nice. Um, yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Getting greedy. Yeah, hammers have really high knockback, which is useful, but they are slow, and they're two-handed, so you can't use a shield uh, while playing, which is which is makes uh, you have you know slight, slightly less armor. Again, it's kind of a risk reward thing we're trying to go for. Um, and as soon as I find this, this the next uh, stairs down, I will start working. So let's go this way and then south. Um, uh, these are the improved graphics. Uh, I'm the so for those of you who don't know my role, I am the the two D three D artist, level designer, all that jazz. Yeah. Um, they are this. It is certainly a low poly uh, rectilinear. Uh, look, and this is the the final look of the game. Um, uh, cool. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, no, like, um, I don't know. I think it, it, it's, I mean, the fact that the fact, I mean, people get the Minecraft comparison quite a lot, but I think it, it's, I mean, the fact that it's 3D and pixel art, that's, that's about as much in common as it has. Like, we do have a grid based map, but we also have ways of breaking up the grid. Um, uh, a lot of this, a lot of the levels I have hand built chunks that are made by uh, myself or Chad. Um, the weapon system is just a I don't know like that's just that's just the constraint we we have in our engine because we built the engine ourselves so uh, that's what we're rolling with like a, a lot of this is just us learning to you know <laughs> nice uh, that's a little secret there uh, kind of deal with the uh, limitate like working within the limitations of the engine that we've built and trying to make the best thing that we can cool so let's let's actually do a little bit of work. Um, yeah, they are Bummerny. They are a um, they are a series of lurk between three D positions. Yep. Uh, most animations have about I don't know uh, four or five keyframes. Because uh, otherwise, if you if you go from like um, from like one point to the other, you get you get a weird transition where ours kind of arc and they twist and stuff like that. Um, Steven says, "Was that a secret?" You randomly just saw that, yeah. So Chad is Chad throws in some secrets every now and again. So that little RNG thing 
was a secret, and it's a pretty small chance it'll pop up on that uh, that particular level start. Yeah, if you want to add in new animations, you can certainly do that. Uh, again, they're just a, a series of um, points in three space, uh, points and rotations. Um, okay, so let's talk about, so I, I previewed, oh, let's see if we can get the, the disorienting stuff going on. I'm not quite sure what that is. Let me see if I can look at the, the commit history on that. Disorient status effect. Um, uh, get. Is it get history or is it get or is it get log? Uh, how do I how do I look at a specific commit? Uh, get view commits. Um, maybe Dr. Kegel knows this. Uh, get what is it? Get show. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted. So status effect. Um, and this is in strings. Yep. Drunk effect, drunk mod. Uh, looks like the drunk mod. Um, uh, there's a head roll to it. Uh, there's a drunk effect. Uh, there's a drunk effect to the player. Um, Da, 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 da. Do potions use it? If, if so, we might need a new piece of potion art if that's the case. Um, uh, drunk effect. There we go. That's all that is. There's a new string for that. Yeah, I need to, before we release too, I need to get all the new strings out for the translators so they can. Uh, get that uh, ready ahead of time. Um, is it only for the player, or does it affect enemies as well? Uh, find usages. Yeah, it looks like it only affects the player, which is kind of a bummer, uh, but that's all right. Um, Yeah, so it looks like it looks like a boot, uh, food type booze does it. So let's just go into the editor real quick and uh, see if we we, 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 can, we can certainly make that happen. Pretty sure. Okay, I can just add an item spawner, maybe. Spawners, item spawner. I don't know if I get is there is there a separate food spawner? I forget. No, it's monster or entity or items. Let me add a light so I can see what I'm doing. Entity, lights, ambient. Uh, light. There is no food in there. Interesting. That's super curious. Um. Item type. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's of course. Um, let me make an item type of food. There we go. Now we should see. Yeah, because a, a lot, of, a lot of these spawners work off of uh, like item type category. So let's do that. There we go. Uh, let's see. Five. There we go. We get a, there's a there's a slight wobble to the head now. I wonder how much I actually have to to consume for it to actually be really like uh, noticeable. Does it stack, or is it just, or is it just always there? Hmm. No, that's fair. Um, it's not. It's not. It's not primarily focused on melee. There's also a range and a magic component to it as well. Uh, 
Yeah, because we have uh, there's a charged attack and there's a quick attack, and then you can throw as well. It's kind of how the the melee works, and then also you have magic wands, which have different behaviors. And then you have bow and arrow. No, it's all right. No, it, it's it's fine to be critical, uh, but unfortunately we're we're within like weeks of release, so uh, it's not going to happen for this title. Uh, it's just to the point now where you know like uh, any big features that haven't happened are not going to happen at this point in time. Uh, cool. Um, uh, so yeah, so let me, uh, keep working on my, my surprises, I guess. Um, so I want to, I want to kind of, uh, if, if, if you hang out on the, the community discord, uh, so yeah, so I guess I have a discord server now. I did that last week. Um, I use it basically as a place to keep, uh, like, like a, like a dev diary or design notes for my various projects. Um, so if you head over there, um, uh, Discord. Uh, you can see the couple projects I'm working on right now. Um, and feel free if you have uh, if you have thoughts on design and stuff like that. Feel free to weigh in. Um, but yeah, so I want to push the the theming of the caves more towards spiders, and then have the breakables kind of be around like spider webs and stuff like that, and egg sacs and cocoons and stuff. Um, and I think it would be I think it just makes more sense than just having like the same pottery and crates all over the caves. I think I think having the spider webs. Allows it to kind of let the the proceed or the, um, the the decorator system just kind of play stuff uh, more or less at random, and, and it kind of works. Uh, hey, Oliver Dunk. Um, let me see. Uh, so let's let me close everything, and then let's start out with. Uh, let's look at the uh, assets, generator, cave, info, um, uh, you should be working. I mean, it is, uh, where I live, it's Sunday, um, unless you work on the weekend, which uh, a lot of folks do. Yeah, so it looks like uh, bomb, 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 arrow bomb. Yeah, um, yeah. so I think how I did it for the dungeon is, uh, for the, the drop lists here, I think what I did is, um, yeah, so you have, there is a two in five chance to get us a, a, a spider, there is a two in five chance it's a bomb, and there's a one in five chance you get treasure, just to try to balance that out. So I'll probably do something similar here. Um, I'm not sure what, what surprise enemy I want. Uh, for the caves, because right now uh, the spider is for the dungeon, and I could retheme that. I could push the baby spider into the cave. Um, um, Oliver Dunk says, "Is the dat different than JSON, or did you just change extension?" Um, it's J JSON-ish. I mean, it is JSON, but it's also um, uh, we use the libgdx uh, framework, and they 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 permit these unquoted JSON. Uh, uh, objects. So, like, if, if you were to throw this through a JSON uh, linter, it would complain because none of these keys are double quoted. I mean, some some are. I've been trying to fix that as I go through. But yeah, more or less, it is just JSON, uh, which is nice because this uh, the JSON serializes into game objects for us, uh, which is pretty powerful actually. Um, so, what I want. Also, I still need a, another bomb type as well. That's something I need to, uh, in my in my my work for my for the uh, the surprise system. So let's let's see if we can get the whole egg egg sack stuff going on. Maybe. Um, uh, yeah. Gotcha. So. Let me, it's going to be similar to how the pots work, because they're going to be a sprite. Um, but let me go ahead and look at entities. Let's look at uh, pot underscore. There we go. Uh, that's cool. Uh, now let's... They live in Dungeon Sprite. I think I have a Cave Sprite Atlas, so I can just probably put those there. Let's fire open Photoshop and take a peek.
Okay, uh, assets, da -da 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 data, uh, assets, textures, cave, sprites. Yeah, let me just try to try to make it kind of gel with what I'm doing in uh, the dungeon uh, sprites as well. Yeah, so I put the breakables right there on the, the second second row here. So let me just go in here. I, pr I probably, again, I, I think having two varieties of uh, like cocoon or eggy things is, is probably the right way to go. Um, so let's let's do that. Time for some for some drawing. Um, and also maybe time for some horrific reference imagery. Uh, hopefully this is this shouldn't be too horrific. Well, it, it might if you have if you have arachnophobia. Um, you you might want to turn away for a little bit because I'm going to be looking at pictures of like spider cocoons and egg sacs and stuff. So hopefully, if that if that, if that will set you off, please uh, be warned. Um, uh, how much pixel art had one texture or block? Uh, official to official Z2P. Um, uh, I'm not quite sure what you mean. Yeah, and I think it would be cool also too to have. Um, yeah, so I think just some sort of weird, weird shape. I think is kind of cool, kind of creepy. Um, I think I should look at. I want to look at real ones actually. Giant spider. No, those aren't real. Uh, banana spider. Those should be real. Ugh. Oh no, I can't. I can't ever eat bananas again. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Why would I do that to myself? Um, uh, orb weaver. Yeah, I mean, a lot of these, like the spider, like the egg sacs, are perfectly round. So maybe have one that's round. And that kind of tips you off that it's full of baby spiders. And then maybe have one that's more cocoony like and it maybe it implies that there's something inside it that's not a spider, uh, which could be another enemy or it could be maybe a good piece of loot. Uh, Tesla Quail says, try camel spiders. So I, I actually have seen camel spiders in real life and they're not so bad, really. They're, they're yay so big. Um, the thing that surprised me about them is how aggressive they are. Uh, we caught one and we put them in. Um, like a like a little piece of Tupperware, and he would run across the floor uh, like a hamster in a ball. It was kind of kind of surprising. Yeah. So Neil is correct. So um, in Delver, one like in uh, one unit of Delver space is thirty two pixels. So um, like a yeah. So most sprites are thirty two by thirty two. Uh, the wall the wall textures are thirty two by thirty two. I try to maintain a Consistent pixel uh, density, but that you know that doesn't always doesn't always happen. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So I guess I'm gonna do something like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah gross. Okay. Um, so let's just do a round one and a non-round one and call it call it a day, because uh, Delver does have a cartoony art style, so we're we can get away with being a little bit more um, uh, like graphic and. And not graphic, not like, um, like graphic in the fact that these aren't how roots really look, but it's more um, stylish and not ne not necessarily realistic. So yeah, so maybe uh, a big cocoon and then a round one. And kind of go for that, that egg shape maybe. Uh, let's just fill this in real quick. Okay, that's all right. Maybe this should touch the ground though. I don't want this to be too huge. Maybe I'll, let's pull that back just a little. Maybe maybe making it a little bit wider than tall is okay. How, like, how big do the, man, that big pot is pretty big though. So maybe that's okay. Maybe, maybe it's all right. I think uh, I think sprites are either at three quarter or half scale uh, compared to uh, the rest of the world units usually. 
just after I said I try to keep consistent pixel pixel ratios. You know, we we're not we're not we're not perfect. And I've I've learned to like let go on many things. Cool. And also, I think maybe with these things too, not having them absolutely perfectly round is probably okay as well. Um. Yeah. So let's go ahead and grab maybe this this white color. I just kind of fill it in. Um, I think I can just quickly do something like, yeah, let's go to contiguous, select that, select that, and then select, modify, contract by one. Okay, uh, fill in the white. And then now I can maybe grab my, my gray color and do some quick uh, anti-aliasing. I think, I think this is a, the, the spy web is only three colors. Uh, which is, I guess, it's just, it's a good thing. It lets me work fast. So let's just, um, uh, there we go. Yeah. Do I, what am I, what am I doing? Yeah, just throwing down pixels, I suppose. Um, yeah, and again, again, the maybe it's okay if these are actually light up here, uh, and then the reserve the darker pixels for the the, the bottom edge, maybe. Eh, that's all. No, I'll, I'll keep the cell out. I like it how it is. Maybe I'll introduce a an additional color to do some more AA with. Um, I used to be like I don't know. Like I I I'm okay with that. Uh, just kind of make things a little bit easier on me. Uh, go. Um. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to add like. Just kind of imply that it wraps around the form. So maybe, um, maybe do something like that. Just have uh, some lines. Maybe can I control click that and then hit H to hide. And just try to get some nice, just kind of uh, curvy, curvy strokes here. I'm just trying to trying to go fast. So I get a, uh, like uh, a lot of times if you want to get like nice smooth lines, you can't you can't go slow, right? You want to have just like a nice just. Just kind of draw it in just one quick, quick motion if you if you can. There we go. Uh, hey, Bird Bird, thanks for popping in. How how are you, sir? And yeah, here I'm just uh, making a quick stroke and I'm undoing it if I don't like it. That's all I'm doing. Okay, that's going to have to work for now. Uh, let's go ahead and throw some AA on top of this. Uh, I'm doing I'm doing well today. Um, yeah, no complaints. Um, so uh, I guess on oh over Friday night, uh, the family we went camping. It was the first time my son has gone camping. Uh, he is only 15 months old, so uh, a lot of things in the world are still pretty pretty darn new to him. And he he was a pretty good camper. We didn't really have uh, any real no issues. He 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 loves being outdoors. So. Uh, plenty of uh, you know rocks and sticks for him to get a hold of, which you know that's that's uh, a good day in his book. Okay, yeah, that's 
that's looking all right. Um, let me go ahead and let me let me add that that color I was think, talking about. So we have this it's a, uh, a very dark uh, desaturated purple, and this is kind of a uh, yellowy. Uh, so yeah, somewhere in between these two, I think I, is where I want to go. And they're 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 basically the same yellow color, which is okay. So I'm just I'm just like eyeballing where it should be like roughly there. See how that looks. That looks all right. Um, again, the secret with AA is not to like you, you can't you have to be like, like judicious about where you use it. Yeah, and I've had a very good weekend. I, yeah. Uh, how about you? I think were you last I knew you were on holiday. Okay. Now I'm now I'm debating whether or not that's okay, or if I should just make this all. Uh, let me add a new layer real quick. A lot of times when I'm working in Photoshop, I find it helpful that, um, like a lot of times I will exceed the undo stack, uh, which means I can't undo anymore. So sometimes, sometimes it's helpful to um, use layers as basically like undo. Uh, so uh, I, I can just create a new layer, work on it. And if I don't like it, I can just delete the layer rather than trying to worry about if I've gone beyond uh, Photoshop's ability to track what I'm doing. Uh, some some modeling. So I, I don't really want to put random dots, uh, Tesla. Um, I try to keep my, my stuff pretty intentional, um, but I, I think I understand what you're saying, like some sort of pattern might help. Um, and it might, uh, that's, that's for certain. Um, again, I'm just trying things out. Uh, I, I, I try not to be afraid of exploring, um, you know, uh, your different different approaches, different looks, and also not being precious with them and being okay with just throwing them if they don't if they if they're not working out, just throw them away. Um, yeah, because I think if we if we look at the, I mean, if you look at the actual spiders, they have like the spider cocoons. They also have like they have like they have like texture all over, right? Like there's just because uh, the spider webs are built by like thousands upon thousands of layers, not maybe maybe hundreds of layers of the silk spun on top of each other to produce uh, the cocoons. I don't know. Um, do I like the which one better? Maybe the lighter? Maybe? Um, I guess I'll keep on trekking with this one over here, I suppose. And again, I, I shouldn't worry about getting it perfect, just getting it uh, workable for the time being. And then I can, I can, I can really like stress over pixels later. Let's just get this in. And functional. Uh, 
we go. Uh, cool. Also, maybe... Uh, that's all right. Now, let me merge that layer down. Let me create a new one underneath. And let's do something similar to how this looks, maybe. Let me just, as a quick and dirty, let me just... Uh, just copy this, control shift C, control D, control B. I just kind of slam it up, up, oh, nope. Up here, I just edit, transform, flip vertical. There we go. Put it, I guess, below that layer. Make sure I'm staying within my bounds. Yeah, maybe something like that could work. Um, Maybe I'll slide it over for this one. Maybe there's, yeah, there's a little bit more room on this one. So let me play around with that. Let me, uh, let me just flatten everything, I guess. That's okay. And then let's start. Uh, so I want this to kind of have like a, a more, uh, uh, I'm trying, I want to change the angle of this just a bit to make it a little bit more, maybe more, more interesting. And also maybe it's okay to have some of this like in shadow as well to imply that like a little bit of depth there. I don't know. I don't know. I'm making it up as I go along. There we go. Let's do this. This. That. Here we are. Uh, let's make them not the same height on both sides. Um, let's add just a little lightness here. Um, then maybe maybe one that's kind of more in the foreground here. Uh, again, I don't, I don't want to ruin the the read, but I do want to maybe imply that there's a little bit of dimensionality to it. Uh, uh, maybe more than than is reading right now. Also, let me undo that and <laughs> hopefully I have enough undos in my stack. There we go. Let me make a new layer. There we go. There we are. Um, you certainly can. So Steven is saying, can you un un increase your, your undo limit? And, uh, I'm pretty sure you can do that within Photoshop. It, it's not, it's not beyond the realm of possibility. Um, it's just sometimes like I might, you know, like you, you probably can't, it just, it just depends on like the machine you're on and how much memory you're, you're able to throw at a, at a thing. I think it's maybe editing or edit, not edit, uh, file edit preferences, preferences. General. Uh, somewhere in here, you can you can set up how much history. No. Scratch disks. Uh, somewhere in here, you can set up like how much memory to dedicate to your undo stack. Yeah, I just I just I just tend to work in in layers uh, because um, uh, a lot of programs. Um, uh, a lot of programs allow you to create layers and it just kind of translates uh, fairly, fairly easily. Um, you know, like non-destructive is, is fine. Um, uh, it's okay. Uh, but like, uh, I, th I think it can be crippling. Like a lot of times, um, like, in, like in traditional media, like when you're drawing and stuff, um, uh, a lot of instructors will make you draw in pen um, because if you draw in pencil, uh, people will be constantly like erasing and trying to make things perfect. 
Whereas in pin, you just learn to live with things and, and move, move on. Um, so I, I kind of view um, uh, this whole non-destructive workflow thing in, in a similar light. Um, you know, like uh, I, I can see, I, I can definitely see the value in it. I just, uh, sometimes I think it's okay to work in, in, in destructive ways uh, because it forces you to like not really, um, uh, what's the word? Like, um, like you just have to kind of learn to live with uh, with your mistakes and kind of just go from them. Hopefully that makes sense. Yeah, and maybe I can make use of my, my new color here to spice things up a little bit. There we are. Yeah, I'm liking that. Let's just save that. And then let's do kind of a, a the similar treatment for uh for the the other cocoon. Um Yeah, let me just I can probably just lift the bottom part and then repurpose it, right? So let's go to the lasso tool. Just try to make a selection. All right. Just a little bit there. Uh, it looks all right. Control J and then slide it over here. Um, not perfect, but we can make it work. Uh, let's also edit, transform, flip horizontal. Uh, there we go. Let me erase a little bit. I think the angle is going to need to be different. So let me shift that over to just one then. And let's do that. Let's pull this up a little bit here. Then I can have a little bit more, a little bit more room to work with these pixels here. There we are. Try to fix any little, little gaps that may have been formed. There we go. I think that's looking okay. Uh, maybe make this a little bit more vertical here. And make that darker, way darker, I suppose. Again, I think I'm getting to the point where I'm starting to fiddle with pixels too much. So maybe it's, maybe it's okay-ish. Let's call it good for now. Let's just merge this down. Let's save it and let's get our breakable going. Um, hopefully they, they work okay. Let's, uh, oh, da, 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 da. these are rules. So I started putting, so um, the way I do it is our, our prefabs uh, can, you create a prefab by creating an entity and a category, and then the prefab references um, the category and the name. And then for the prefab, you can also give it a list of names within that category, and it will uh, pick from those at random. So I'm using this as kind of like a way to get um, uh, like kind of semi-procedural uh, or, or random elements. So for example, when you place a normal pot, the pot will use these rules to generate pot zero, pot one. But you don't, actually, you don't actually place these, you place the prefab that contains these two definitions. So I'm gonna do something similar for the spider eggs, I suppose. So let me, um, let me grab this, uh, control, so let's grab the first one, I guess, control C, um, control V, uh, and this needs to be a spider egg zero. Uh, da, 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 da. It's text is yeah. The text should be four and five because I use the same thing. But it should be uh, sprite atlas should be cave sprite and not dungeon sprite. Cave sprite. Now the collision is probably going to be wrong, but we can fix that up here in a little bit. Scale is correct. Floating. 
Uh, these shouldn't be floating. They should be. Why is why are they floating? That's weird, Joshua. Uh, should they cast shadows or no? There's a lot of them around, so maybe not. Uh, I need to fix the jibs for all of these. That's okay right now. Break sound. I don't want pottery break. I need like a fabric rip or something like that. Whatever you think of as like breaking up a spider cocoon would sound like. Loot spawn chance of zero. Um, maybe. Uh, draw a sprite and su surprise chance 0.5. Uh, yeah, let's do that. So that's cool. And then and we should have our uh, so yeah, surprises right below it. So surprises, fire bombs, 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 bombs. I don't know, I think I put it in breakables. Uh, breakables. There we go. Uh, pot. I can just, again, I can duplicate this and call this uh, spider egg. And this is, uh, it's in the rules category. And right now it's just uh, spider egg uh, zero. Okay. And that should be enough to make it work. So let's fire open the editor and uh, let's drag ourselves out that. Let's flip our, um, set our theme to be cave. Uh, and that won't change the visuals. If I want to change the visuals, I can manually just actually will. I don't think it will. I think, yeah. So if I want to change, I don't, I don't think I don't, I don't need to change the theme. I just need to, I need to change the theme. I just don't need to change the textures. Let's right click breakable spider egg. Beautiful. Um, uh, let me add a light in here so we can see what we're doing. Uh, lights ambient, crank it way up. Uh, place. Yeah. I think that that kind of is, is, is okay. Yeah. I think it, it works maybe yeah <laughs> but it still breaks like pottery uh so i need to i need to add in like i guess web pieces um but yeah hopefully we can get some we can get some creepy times now with like the players trying to creep around uh these breakables um make them... yeah trying to creep around this nice 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 Cool. So yeah, so let's just hook up. Let's just quickly hook up the the second one because that should be easy enough. So it's going to be called uh, Spider Egg One. Uh, try to keep things try to keep things really simple. Let's look at uh, rules. Uh, here we go. And then Control Think D duplicates the line. Uh, and there's a comma. And then we should change it from text four to text five, and we're done. Um. Uh, hey, Louis Carl, how the heck are you, sir? Yeah, so actually, uh, Louis, Louis dropping in, uh, reminds me that this week is going to be a bit of a hectic week, um, because it is PAX, um, both PAX West and PAX, uh, Dev are happening this week. So I will be... Uh, doing the whole conference thing uh, most of the time this week. Um, so I I will be out. I, I won't be streaming Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday because <laughs> I will be uh, running around doing the whole PAX thing. And did I break? Oh yes, I I didn't I didn't rename my I didn't rename my prefab. Why didn't you guys catch that? Yeah, there we go. Uh, spider egg zero, spider egg one. There we go. Run. Yeah. So if if, you, if any of you folks are going to be at PAX West, please let me know. We can uh, go grab a cup of coffee, or we can walk down to uh, the pier and grab a bite at a fish bar or something. Uh, if you want to, no pressure. Uh, but yeah, I'd, I'd love to talk talk nerdy game stuff with people. Uh, so yeah, if you, if you want to do that, let me know. I will I will definitely be uh, talking Louis uh, arm off, uh, ear off. Uh, breakables, spider web, spider egg. Here we go get some 
Nice spider. Uh, place entity rule marker torch. Yeah, I think this will be cool. And then maybe maybe a, a different variation for hanging. Oh, actually, I could flip it and have them hanging from the ceilings too. Um, so this guy, I feel like we should be able to step up on. Um, so yeah, let me let me play around with that a little bit, I suppose. Uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm glad you have time to uh, to catch a stream, Louis. Uh, I think the last time we spoke, it sounded like your your day job was was kind of a high priority at the time, and I I totally get that. Uh, spider egg zero, and spider egg one. Under rules. There we go. And if you want, you, up here in the editor, you can go and say view toggle collision boxes, and that way it'll flip on collision boxes so you can see what's happening. And I think this is spider egg uh, one, I think. And it's, its collision volume is a little bit too big. So let's maybe back this down to 0.25. Let's see how that feels. So I think we should be able to walk over it. Yeah. I think this one's okay to walk over. But this one shouldn't be. Cool. Yeah. So let's just uh, let's just tweak that. I think I think otherwise the bounding volumes look okay. Uh, they are axis aligned bounding boxes, so you can't rotate them. So you have to just live with them being on the, uh, the x and y axes. Um, but yeah. So this is point two five. Is that? Uh, let me. What, what if I nudged it up a tiny bit? Point three. Three to five. Yeah, three to five is fine. Don't need to split hairs on this one too much. This is spider egg one, and the collision is point three to five. There we go. Um, Doctor Peel says, "Can they make squishy sounds when somebody walks over them?" I don't think so. I don't think we we don't we don't have any any hooks for walking on top of other entities. Um. Yeah, I, I'd almost want them to actually... Uh, I, now I want to add a flag that if you step on them, they break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so maybe maybe I'll, I'll, I'll work on that this week. Uh, yeah, because I, I think definitely that should be part of the risk of having these spider eggs is if you if you step on one, they'll, they'll break open. Or if an enemy steps on it for you, they'll break open. These are like maybe even more super fragile. Um, yeah, and then... Ah, perfect, beautiful, beautiful. There was a spider baby inside that one. But yeah, so I think this will this will be a nice little addition to the caves. Yeah, they could certainly like we could certainly um, there is a break sound uh, somewhere in here. Break sound, yeah. Uh, with, uh, you can just give it a list of uh, a comma separated list of MP3s. Yeah, so basically uh, towards the end of uh, the development here, we need to. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna reach out to our audio folks and give them a big list of things to uh, that we need um, uh, because like they're they're actually really talented folks and they're really busy and I don't want to bother them unless we have like substantial work for them to do. Nice. Um, Hapu says, "How many developers on our team? Uh, there are just two of us. We've been working on this for about oh oh lord like." Um, Four or five years, five years now, yeah, four years, five years. I think I've been on the team uh, in, uh, as a partner uh, four years, and we work on it in our free time. Uh, I've been working on it uh, full time now for a few months, uh, trying to get this darn thing wrapped up. Um, yeah, like being in early access that long is really, really difficult. Like uh, 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 the thing, the thing you don't realize about early access is really it's as much about uh, community and expectation management as it is about actually making uh, a thing. And uh, that's something we've learned the hard way, unfortunately. I mean, fortunately, we have, uh, we have excellent and understanding uh, fans, uh, but you know, like just the, you know, in folks in general, it, it's, it's hard to, uh, people don't under, seem to understand that we work on this only like in a free time or part-time capacity. But yeah, those are good. Uh, I have the, the, the bounding volumes saved. 
we need to update the, the jibs. So let's just add some, some web fragments in there. Um, uh, I've, I've, I've seen you around here, Seahawk, Seahawk Blue. Yeah, I was curious about that too, uh, Chris. Um, well, I think, again, like, expect, I think it's just as, as expectation management for people who buy the game, right? Because um, generally, like, how I've taken early access is, is you look at the game as it is, and you just have to assume that it's never going to get updated ever again. And if you're okay with that, you should pull the trigger. Um, because you can't, you can't, you shouldn't buy an early access game expecting it to change a lot. Now, if it does, that's great. Um, but it, it very likely will not. Oh, cool. Yeah, the Hapu. Nice. Uh, yeah, you, 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 I think you folks are, there, there's two of you as well up here in the Seattle area also. Yeah, yeah, no, the, the 3D Risk of Rain is, it's mind-blowing. Like, uh, it's just so beautiful, and it looks so much like the, uh, the original uh, art for the original Risk of Rain. Uh, yeah, big, big fans of uh, Risk of Rain. Uh, and I never got to play Deadbolt yet. Maybe, uh, maybe I should set aside some time to do that. Uh, but I don't, like, like that's about, like, I keep saying, like, I need to focus on finishing up Delver. And when Delver is finally out, I can take a short break and actually play some games. Because uh, I haven't played games in a very long time, and there are a lot of good games I want to play. Uh, cool. So spider eggs are good. Uh, spider jibs is what we need. Um, unfortunately, particles have to live in the particles, uh, the particle uh, sheet right now, uh, which I think is just in the root of our assets. Particles, and I think. Yeah, so here are the, the jibs for the, the pottery, and I just need something similar for uh, the spider web. Um, yeah, yeah, no, no worries. Yeah, um, Hapu, if, you, if you're going to be at uh, PAX West or PAX Dev, I'd, I'd like to uh, just say hi. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have a booth this year or not. Um, so I have three jibs for, for the pottery. I'm not sure if I need more or less for the spider webs. Um, and also too, like here, this, this fire, this fire thing is very like one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm having, I have 12 sprites for that. And maybe I don't need to have that many as well, but maybe, uh, let's just start with two. I'll just, I'll just shove them there and call it good. Um, so let's, uh, let's look at our spider eggs. Yeah. Um, and zoom in just so I can maybe grab a chunk. Again, I'm, I'm try not to reinvent the wheel. If I have if I have perfectly workable sprites, I'll try to re repurpose them. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. If if you if you are down, I'll I'll tweet you and then um yeah uh we'll, I'll say hi or whatevs. I I will not be weird. I promise. Uh, okay. So. It looks maybe something like just, we just need just like spiderweb fragments. I, mean, I just want like a big one and a small one and that's it. Like we don't need a lot. <laughs> Thanks. Um, um, and again, just trying to work quickly, you know, not, not spend too much time on any one given task. Cause again, we are like, we're, we're trying to get this, this darn thing wrapped up and, um, for those of you who have made software, worked in the industry, you you've heard the the whole phrase, uh, "cutting is shipping." But we're we're I'm definitely trying to keep that like in mind. Like we have to like either like uh, buckle up and actually get uh, a given feature done, or I just have to make my peace with it and just uh, realize it's never going to happen. Uh, so for some systems, they're getting cut and they're never happening, and some some things I'm finally uh, getting around and doing. And of course, even when I'm quote done with the game, I'm not really done with it. There's still going to be a lot of support uh, that needs to happen. You know, like there's going to be patches, all that jazz. You have to kind of plan for that um, because you can't you can't make a perfect thing. So you have to be able to be ready to uh, support and maintain uh, the thing that you got. 
And also, too, we, we'd love to, uh, like, we're, we're going to get a, a, an iOS build going. And maybe maybe Android. Um, wait, 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 Android and iOS. Uh, we'd love to have console builds, uh, but that's just kind of dependent on, like, um, like if, if, if Delver sells well enough that we can actually put some of that money towards maybe a console port and then um, how much like the porting folks actually charge, you know, there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, like what ifs and a lot of stuff in the air on that one. I'd love to have a console port, but uh, I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a good likelihood that it won't happen just because of, you know, cost. Uh, let's not, let's just call that good. Let's just not worry about that. Um, oh, and then of course I need to pull it into pixel edit just to see what the index, the indices are. Does anybody, I guess, it would be nice if there's a little, just a little script in, in Photoshop that tell you what the index, uh, the indexes or indices are for a given, um, tiled thing, but it's just not really good at doing tiled images, but let's just pull this in here. Open, uh, 32 by 32, import tiles is what I want to do. Import. And then hit tab and it's 62 and 63 and now i can close pixel edit um yeah so where are my my jibs i think they're over here towards the end maybe yeah so 663 64 i think is what i said that 63 64. all right let's fire open the editor and smash some spider eggs Uh, okay, entity, uh, bah, 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 breakables, spider egg, uh, play, smash. Oh no, I am off. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm off on that. Uh, by a factor of one, maybe? I, I, think I, I think I get some correct ones. Uh, yeah, so let's just, uh, I think I need to increment those by one. So 64, 65 is what I need. Yeah, sorry, it's 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 super weird like talking while working, uh, because sometimes when I say a thing, uh, it immediately leaves my my brain out of my mouth and then it's just gone forever. Uh, but I think I'm close. This should be right. Uh, you said there's sixty two, sixty three. You sure about that? Yeah, because because it, it was it was grabbing the big one. You're right. So it, it was wrapping around. Yep, yep, yep. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's just. Uh... Let's fix that. Uh, 62, 62, 63, 63. There we go. Run. Yeah, no, thanks folks. Also, like, I think I, like, uh, somehow I, be I became a, a Twitch affiliate, which is a weird thing. Um, so part of my, my, th I guess trying to tempt people to become subscribers is I added a subscriber bot, uh, which allows you to add commands as a subscriber, but I also have things like, I added a few uh, commands as well. So if you want to, uh, if you want to really call me out when I make a mistake, you can certainly uh, use uh, the subscriber bot. Uh, subscribers get to define commands, but anybody can use it. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, breakables, spider egg. Let's just, uh, let's just create a bunch of them, right? Cool. Um, smash. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Spider baby, I don't got time for you. Smash, smash. Yeah, this is. Oh, there we go. This is working all right. I think I need to make it uh, set theme to cave. I think. Unfortunately, I think if it uses a cave theme, it won't get. Um, yeah, because I think the. Yeah, because the surprises are defined per theme. So I don't have a surprise uh, monster for the caves yet. Um, so maybe I should, I should make the spider surprise monster, um, the jumping spider, and then make the dungeon one something else. Uh, but I'm not sure what that would be. And do those, I guess those read, read okay. They just look like white, white chunks. 
Um, uh, Greeny996 says, this is nice. Thank you. That's very kind of you to say. Um, uh, Chris says, I'm a bit late, but did the spider, spider babies grow into big spiders? And this is the caves. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, so also, um, I guess as another thing I've done too, is I've created a, a community Discord for my the projects I work on. Uh, if you want to check that out. I use my Discord as basically as a dev diary. Uh, so there is a channel per project I'm working on, and I kind of talk about my designs. Uh, sometimes if I'm if I'm if I'm doing an interesting bit of implementation, I'll talk about it there. Uh, but usually I'll talk about like what's on my mind, what I'm going to be working on for any given stream. So yeah, so uh, the the so the surprise system I'm working on is basically uh, the breakables sometimes drop bombs or they drop monsters or they drop good things. So it's kind of a risk reward thing. And in order for it to really kind of have a nice like kind of chain effect, there has to be um, a decent amount of these just kind of laying around the level for you to interact with either intentionally or unintentionally. And um, in the dungeons, it makes sense for crates and barrels to be laying everywhere. But in the caves, not as much sense. So I'm, I'm trying to kind of re-theme re and repurpose the um, the caves into like a more spidery place. So we do have these um, these uh, these breakables kind of fit better with that theme. But yeah, no, they they don't uh, they don't um, grow up into big spiders, Chris. They just are little spiders that have different behavior. Uh, where the big spiders will chase you down, the little spiders just kind of jump around uh, on occasion. Uh, so that's good. Um, yeah, so a couple of things I guess I want to do now is uh, let's add um, let's do it. So I want to have I want to have the decorator actually place these in the caves for us. Um, um, uh, so I was thinking Birdbird Bird also maybe um, potentially like like I think it'd be interesting also if I'm not sure if I should have like some of the, like the small ones always be spider babies and then these could be like the normal enemies from the caves that were I don't know like it would be interesting to break this open and you just get a, a monster drop right like it would just be like a beholder or um, because I guess a spider would be weird, but we could try it. That would be, that would be an easy thing to do. Um, yeah, 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 so we could just, um, I'm, try, I'm trying to think how that would work. Um, bah, 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 bah. Uh, yeah, so, and I may also want the, yeah, yeah. So, so I think I think I know what to do. I think I know what to do. Let's try it. Let's do. Um, in the cave info, we should have a we have a, we should have a section called Gen Infos, uh, and this is the the system that we use to uh, decorate generated stuff. Um, and what we can do is we can base it on either the the ceiling, the floor, or the wall texture, um, and then we can place stuff on the ceiling, floor, or walls uh, as appropriate. So I want to do is maybe uh, just on the, the default floor of the cave, um, uh, maybe randomly place uh, a spider egg and then uh, with a higher percentage chance, uh, place uh, spider eggs in corners. because so I think that makes more sense. So here are just the, the ones we already have. These are just like the basic stalactites, stalagmites, crystals, all that good jazz. Uh, so what I want to do is just add in um, uh, these uh, these spider eggs. So decorative grass. We can we can use that as a as a as a start because it's very similar. Um, and this comment doesn't really it's not used by the the gen info thing. It just it's just a nice thing for the person creating the the this this gen info to to reference. So this is going to be a, a breakable spider eggs, and it drops in a. Uh, a prefab. Yeah, something like that. Uh, so down here, my gin infos, it spawns in that. Um, is, a, is category breakable, and the name is, I think, spider egg? 
like that. It needs it needs to it needs to match. So here again, let's look at um, uh, breakables. I think towards the bottom, I have that's clutter. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Spider egg, yeah. So as long as that matches, that should drop in those prefabs. Um, and then this is the the cluster count of one, and then this cluster spread. Um, so I, you you could have this spawn in multiple. Uh, but right now I'm going to have it just drop in one. It, it doesn't need to be texture atlas T1. That's incorrect. It needs to be texture atlas cave um, at a chance of 0.0. .0. So there's a six percent chance it's going to drop it on any given tile of floor text three. I don't think that's correct. Let's take a peek and see what the floor textures look like for our our cave area. So textures cave uh, textures and it looks like yeah that is not right. It looks like this should be 0, 4, 8. So on texture is what I want to set it for uh, yeah and that's what that's what at floor, te floor text 8 that's correct yeah 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 um, uh, breakables is that a bug oh yeah yep 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 thank you it should be it should match this right here let me just copy and paste it there we go. Thank you, sir. I appreciate your uh, your 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 eye, your attention to detail there. All right. So this should spawn. Um, wait, 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 wait. I goofed up something. Uh, ba 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 ba. Okay. Yeah. This this is the this wrong wrong gen info. This is the fog in the water, and it does use. Uh, text T1. Uh, this is the breakable spider eggs. Um, um, and Vortex 8 cave um, prefab. Let me lift that here and then go back down to the correct entry, which is this breakable spider egg. That's the entity it needs to create. Breakables and spider underscore egg. I think this should work. Let me just, I should be able to run it in the editor and set the theme and it should, it should decorate everything uh, appropriately. So uh, let me just make a big selection here and then change my textures to be the uh, correct atlas. Otherwise they won't match and they won't spawn. Uh, ceiling, sure, and floor. And that should be enough. Uh, oh, and view or level set theme to cave, which makes it use our, uh, hopefully the correct gen infos. Yeah, there we go. Nice. So now I can fiddle with numbers, trying to get a, a feel for what the distribution looks like. And I could even do something uh, also, I could just save. Uh, actually, I think that this, usually you can go like edit, generate room, cave, but I think this is the wrong, uh, the wrong text sheet, but I could fix that. Let's just make a selection, hit shift enter just to paint uh, the new t two texture atlases and that should work. Let me remove the monster though, because um, when you're debugging, it's obnoxious to try to um, have to fight off monsters while debugging. So hit play, uh, then it drops in spider eggs. That might be, that might be a little bit much. Uh, we can play with that, but I like the spider eggs in the, the corner. So let me, let me lean into that. Let's do, um, let's go into here uh, and do a couple things. Let's copy this and then let's paste that. We're going to keep this all the same, but I think if we look at uh, gen info, um, uh, we have a place in corner um, property. So uh, breakable spider eggs uh, in corners. So what we're going to do is set this property. Uh, place in corner and it's a, it's a, it's a enumeration um, and it could be never sometimes or only it defaults to sometimes uh, but if you never want it to show up in a corner you set it to never and if you only want to set it in a corner you use only uh, for example I use this um, when when placing windows uh, in the dungeon because windows never are placed in a corner in a building um, but you uh, so I said that the never uh, cool. 
So then placing corner always is what I want. Or only, only. Uh, so let's go back to in here, and this should be only. Again, if I look at the the dun or the, the dungeon info, uh, place in corner. Yeah, make sure I got that correct. Correct. Place in corner. Control C. Place in corner only. And then here, I want to maybe turn the yeah. So we have a cluster count of four. So here, I want to turn the cluster count down to one, and then maybe a pretty small. A, a, a pretty darn small spread. So this will only place one egg in the middle of a room, and then it'll. Um, so yeah, let me do that too. Let's let's let's, let's flip these two so we don't get overlap. Uh, so this needs to be uh, never put a single egg in in the corner. And then I should be able to hit play, and it should pick up the changes. I think maybe. Yeah. So it dropped a, a cluster in that corner. Um, and then we have some kind of here at the random. I think there's too many just kind of hanging out, uh, so we can just we can just play try playing with those numbers again. Um, 0 0.05, 0 0.0325. I don't know. Like that's a, that's a problem with the RNG. Is like you can you can just keep hitting like um, like sometimes you'll get stuff that's bare, and sometimes you'll get stuff that's just chock full. And then uh, maybe for the the stuff in the corners, I want to. Like, like up the the percent chance, so maybe uh, point 0.1. Maybe make it pretty pretty highly likely that corners will, will hold spider eggs. And I have, I'm having a feeling I might need to restart. I'm not sure. If I set it to one, that should be the the determiner, right? If I set it to a hundred percent. Yeah, so I think that's I think that's working right. I think there's just not enough room in here to drop those there. Yeah, um, and again, the, I guess the 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 other kind of uh, like I guess where the where the, the proof is in the pudding is actually just playing some cave levels. So let's see how this feels, right? So let's close out the editor and let's actually play some Delver. Let me bring up chat again. Uh, take care, Chris. I'm glad you were able to stop by for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, the little spiders kind of are like head crabs or face huggers, but yeah, no, I, I definitely want to have the have it feel kind of creepy. Uh, and to that end, I might need to tweak because I think right now at caves they generate a lot of um, of crystals on the ceiling, and I probably need to pull that back a little bit. And I'm inside a an egg. Cute. Um, there we go. Yeah, because right now it's it's pretty well lit, and I think that's um, not as scary. So maybe I'll lower the the crystal spawn chance uh, a little bit, so uh, it's not as not as well lit. Because right now everything is pretty well lit. Oh yeah, and because because the cave, I mean, I, I, let me let me see if I can also edit the code because the the uh, the generator for the uh, the cave rooms doesn't use the correct atlas, so we don't get the the actual random generation that we want. And that's curious. What are you doing there? Sword just getting dropped on top of these eggs. Um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, and I think also I, I really want to now. Now I definitely want to flip them and also have uh, the potential for them to be on the ceiling as well, just to make it extra creepy. Um, yeah, and I think just having these all these crystals really do kind of kill the mood a little bit. So let's lower that crystal volume and all that good stuff. <laughs> yep, no, Victor. There are definitely big spiders. Uh, chance zero four five. So let's let's have that. So. Uh, two two five or two two. It's close enough, right? Um, there we go. Um, ba, 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 ba. I think, 
Yeah, so let's also take a look at the the room builder. Uh, actually, I think I think those are those are data driven too. Let's take a look. Uh, data room builders, cave rooms. Yeah, so they they should be using the correct text atlas. That's that should be right. Um, yeah, this should be good. Uh, let's play some more, I guess. Yeah, no, I still, I still, I, I, I don't know. Like, I still like the the blue crystals, all right. But I think um, you're right. Maybe I should be open to changing it to maybe like a purple or a green or something a little bit, um, uh, something less, uh, something slightly more spooky, maybe. And the like, like the the sewer and the dungeon have pretty strong color themes, but the 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 sewer and the ruins do. But the the caves and the um, uh. What's the word? Um, the caves in the dungeon really don't have as strong color themes to them. So that's something I need to either fix or just let go. Yeah, it seems to be doing doing cool spooky things. Yeah, let's just really quickly, let's just hook them up and throw them on the, uh, the ceiling as well. Uh, yeah, so let's pull open Photoshop, uh, close that, put that there, and I'm just going to really just, I'm just going to do a quick and dirty, just sprite flip. No, no need to be fancy in our, like, editor, I'm just going to, control C, control V, edit, transform, flip vertical, uh, and there we go. Uh, e and save and um, yeah so then I can go into our entities into uh, rules and then make uh, control C control V and these are going to be hanging spider eggs there we go. And these should be plus four, so that should be, I think, eight and nine. Uh, we, need, we need to double check the, the Sprite Atlas on that, or the, um, the offset, but I'm hoping that's all right. That might not be, though. I'll probably have to fiddle with that. Uh, floating true. I want these to stay on the ceiling, so floating is, is it should be true. Uh, the jibs should be okay. The pottery sound needs to be fixed. Uh, then all that stuff should stay the same. And then uh, up here, actually just do another search for rules, go back up here. Um, rules, and then uh, actually just control D. And this needs to be hanging spider egg. Control C, uh, control V, and control V. There we go. Cool. And then let's go to our rules for our cave. And then similarly here, um, I think I think this, the same rules and percentages might apply, though I might need to lower the percentages. Uh, we'll see. So let's just, uh, what I do? Control C. Control V. These are uh, hanging breakable spider eggs. Hanging breakable spider eggs. Uh, again, hanging. Uh, hanging. And then there should be an attached ceiling property. Uh, true. There we go. So then for the hanging stuff, I just need to have attached ceiling true. There we go. Um, let's run the editor and just real quick see if we can get the offsets and all that good stuff to to work. Uh, yeah, there is um, there is fog, and I do make good use of that again in the sewers and the the the, uh, the ruins, but not so much in the uh, uh, generate room. Not so much in the um, the first two areas. Maybe I should. Maybe I should go. Back. I need to go back through and. Just kind of help, and the fog helps kind of reinforce some of these colors as well. 
There we go. Let's go ahead and remove uh, the entity, the, the enemy markers. There we go. Remove, remove. Uh, your lighting situation is a little on the dark side, but let's just place another torch here. And uh, maybe here. There we go. And if we hit play, let's see what it looks like. Nothing. Hmm. So it makes me think that I either goofed up the gin infos or it's not using the correct uh, texture atlas. But I thought I just confirmed that it that the the room builder sh ought to be. Again, you can just make a, a selection over the whole level and hit shift enter just to paint the uh, the tiles. Yeah, I have a feeling that since nothing is showing up, I goofed my uh, my entity definition. Um, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's just copy everything. Let's just go to a JSON linter, and it will tell me what I've messed up. Process. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Yeah, there's lots of there's lots of that, sorry. Yeah, let me I like clean up my JSON. Yeah. So if I undo attach ceiling, does it work? No. Uh, what do I need to undo? Hanging spider egg, undo that. Hanging spider egg, undo that. Undo these pastes. Save. Okay, it was working here. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, something is something's goofed. Uh, I'm not sure what happened. Um, I guess I'll keep keep stepping back. So it was definitely working here. Uh, 1.0. So if I just let me just run the actual game. It should it should be spitting out too. If I if I made errors, I should spit out in the output whether or not I made errors or not. That's a bit of a mystery. Comma line two, yeah, like uh, Delver accepts pretty sloppy JSON. You can have trailing commas; it doesn't care about that. Yeah, see here, it's dropping them in just fine. Uh, mysterious quit. Let's um. Let me try just um, copying and pasting these and see if I can get them. Control C, Control V, and then these just need to be hanging. And and catch ceiling true. There we go. Okay. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I've tried to uh, add a little bit of new. I'm trying to add a little bit of love everywhere. It's just I don't have time for it. But yeah, there are there are some. Uh, I did I did do some slight touch ups to the cave area. Um. Yes, Felix. Yes, Felix. I didn't set the theme in the editor. Uh, he's quite right. So it's using the dungeon theme on the cave stuff, which is which is why it's not working. Uh, cool. So I don't see anything on the ceiling. So that make, makes me think my um, my offsets are wrong. So if I fly up here, it looks like yeah. See how they're clipping off into off into space. So we I need to adjust that. Um, yeah, no biggie. Uh, yeah. Um, Retro Bear, I would love, I would love, love, love to add Easter eggs before we ship. I, I just, uh, it's just no time. There's no time. Um, uh, hanging spider egg. So maybe in the entities. Uh, rules. Let's, let's just right now. Let's just zero out the Y offset and see how that behaves. And also, uh, Felix, um, uh, I do have the community Discord now, and there is a channel for the Twitch Observer. And um, I think we do have a bug to look at if you have time. Um, if not, don't worry about it. But yeah, no, there is a channel, Felix, for us to talk about Twitch Observer stuff there. Um... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, nobody, nobody, nobody wants. Um, yeah, so um, I created a Discord for my my dev efforts. So uh, if you go to the community Discord, people are welcome to join. Um, the channels are set up by uh, the projects I'm currently actively working on, and I I keep my dev notes and my designs and stuff in there. Uh, I also put implementation in there if it's interesting. Um, and if you if you if, if you want to weigh in on uh, some of these things that I'm uh, talking about, please please do. Uh, constructive criticism is definitely welcome. Suggestions uh, for my other stream, um, uh, uh, my my lunch break roguelike, which I do weekdays at noon. Um, there have been quite a few good discussions in there about uh, uh, like user user or player suggestions and stuff I've actually implemented. So it's always I, I appreciate the uh, the feedback. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate that, Felix. So that if, if it is by design, we might just need to, um, we might need to remove the API then or, or figure out how we want to handle that. So why offset of zero? Let's run the editor. And like Felix says, Joshua, don't be a dummy. And you need to set the theme as well. So edit, generate, generate cave room, uh, remove the monsters. Uh, remove and let's just add in some torches so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, you can toggle the lighting view by hitting L. Uh, maybe there we go. Um, uh, and then level set theme to save. There we go. Now it will use our gen info uh, information. Um, and it looks like it's still not doing the um, the stuff correctly. Okay, I think in the editor, if you no clip out of the world, it'll exit you. No, it won't. Okay, so it's still messed up. Let me look and see how the the stalactites and stuff like that are are doing it. Cool. Yeah, and again, Felix, feel feel free to use the Discord channel as a as a place to uh, talk about uh, what we might want to do there. Um, so I like it, say the hanging, I think there's stalactites maybe? Hanging roots. Seal text, chance. Um, Y offset, uh, and that's set on the sprite. A positive Y offset um, of a one eighth. So let's try that.
Uh, Retro Bear says, why is everything a roguelike? Um, um, I don't think everything is. Um, let me th let me see. So uh, I think for small teams, procedural content is um, is a tempting way to go simply because for this project, there are only two of us. And um, that's not a lot of man hours to put towards uh, like uh development right so if the levels can build themselves reasonably well we don't have to spend a lot of time um you know hand building a bunch of levels right um oh well, yeah there have been there have been plenty of i mean my i think uh by the berlin interpretation of a roguelike i think my lunch break roguelike fits uh fits that interpretation quite nicely Um, yeah, there are certainly roguelikes in the world. I think it gets overused a little bit. Uh, people use roguelike when they should be saying procedural, but, um, it's a little bit different to everybody. Um, okay. So we need to set the theme to cave set theme. And then we hit play. Let's see where our spider eggs are at. Why are they not doing what they're supposed to be doing? Toggle plate. Um, oh no, toggle, no clip. What do I want? So they are, they're generating what they're just, they're still generating out of the, okay, I need to get, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go way aggressive. I'm gonna say minus one on the offset and see where that throws them. Um, Um, bah, 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 bah. Yeah, procedural de procedural death labyrinth is another another term people bandy about. Um, uh, generate room, keep room. Uh, remove marker. See, I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried that the generator made a room like this, and there's no way to get back out of there. Uh, so that's kind of kind of worrisome. Uh, Chad, why is it doing that? Um, yeah, usually, yep. Yeah, I think I think Bird Bird is correct there. Uh, view set theme cave. Um, I don't know, like. There isn't there isn't a better genre descriptor, so I that's I just use roguelike, um, and again I liken it. Uh, I think I was on Wii's two hundred two stream the other day, and basically, um, for those of us who are old enough, uh, when Doom first came out, uh, any any first person shooter after that was called a Doom clone because the first person shooter genre had not been invented. So instead of having first person shooters, we had Doom and a whole bunch of Doom clones. And then a, a while later, um, we finally got uh, the genre title. Uh, but that, that just never seems to have happened for roguelikes. Cool. Uh, people chat me on stream, don't do that. Uh, Ba, 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 ba. I need to change the offset. So minus one was in the correct direction, but let's go minus zero point five. Again, uh, a lot of procedural, a lot of procedural uh, generation and even development in general is just fiddling with numbers. Okay, that's too much. Like they're clipping, they're clipping through now. Like if you take a look at the, not no target, toggle, toggle, no clip. They're kind of uh, so halfway, I guess. Um, so, um, halfway between minus one and 0.5, so 0.75. Okay, toggle, no clip. That's still not quite right. Um, la ah, 
Bye. I guess I'm just going off into space now. Um, there we go. I can just hit play and I can just fall. Yeah, there we go. Um, fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. Um, seven, five, six, two, five. I really wish I know why it was behaving the way that it was. And I'm sure there's, a, there's a, a, probably a logical reason for it. That's still... Let me try this. Let me let me grab my marquee tool and let me drag a box and measure this. So it is 24 pixels tall. So that would be three quarters, which is what I thought it would be, but that doesn't seem right. Um, Uh, we do have we do have two different uh, heights of spider eggs. Um, uh, is this the right direction? Okay, toggle. Oh, no clip. Oh, that's darn close. That's really darn close. I think for I think for most situations, it's probably going to be okay. Yeah, that's that's darn close. Uh, oh no, oh no. Let me just uh, err on the side of having it just a little too. If, if it intersects the geo just a little bit, I think that's all right. Uh, so K, toggle no clip. Take a look at these. It, yeah, six seven. There it's okay. There it's reasonable. Um, so now, like the density of these things, um, is the density reasonable? Maybe. I'm just worried. Like in the the more cl claustrophobic areas, it might be too much. Let's just let's just actually play a little bit more and talk about that. And actually, I have. Um, I guess I have uh, uh, five minutes left on my stream. Uh, so. Uh, I'll play a little bit of Delver and then I'll do my, my sign off. Uh, play. Yeah, no, uh, I'm really excited to see some new faces in chat today. Um, thank you for popping in, folks. I, I always, always I appreciate a, a new perspective. Um, but also keep in mind that, you know, this is, um, there, there are two of us working on this project and we're on like the last leg of our five year, six year journey. We're trying to get this done. Um, and we're, you know, we're, we're basically just cutting away all the big features we don't think we have time to do. Uh, but yeah, no, like I appreciate all the feedback. It's, it's amazing. And I'm excited to, uh, kind of move on to the next thing. You know, I'm really, uh, I have no idea what it's going to be quite yet. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm very excited for it. Uh. Yeah, no, I think I'm almost wa I'm almost wanting the firebomb here in this. Yeah, spooky. Um, I'm all, yeah. Um, I could. I'm, I'm almost I'm almost wondering if it would be better to have the ones on the ground um, less frequent and then increase the frequency of the ones on the ceiling. But then that's like like that's that's, that's less opportunity for. Um, like crazy hijinks to happen, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. And again, I think I think Bird Bird is right that I think the blue might not quite might not be quite the right color for this. So I will play around with with that and try to find a little bit more uh, appropriate color for that. <laughs> oh goodness, I can sneak by. Yeah. Oop. Yes, and it, that's, that's why, I, like, when I try to build these levels, I try to avoid um, these one wide hallways just because, like, you can get caught up not only by enemies, but, like, by geo like this as well. 
There we go. Smash him with my my magic uh, magic mace. And let's blow up these down here. I got tons of bombs. Just throw them everywhere. Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> uh, well, that's that's what happens when you play with bombs. Um. Uh. Oh goodness. So. Um. Goodbye, Delver. So, hey, I'm Joshua. Let me flip this over real quick. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Um, bah, 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 bah. Yeah, so I'm Joshua. Uh, I am working on a game called Delver. I do other things as well. Uh, you can follow me here on Twitch, on Twitter, at Joshua Skelly. Uh, if you like what I do, or if you find it interesting, feel free to subscribe to me. I'm an affiliate. Uh, I consider it like a tip jar. Uh, if, again, if you find it useful, entertaining, whatever, uh, feel free to subscribe. You get access to the subscriber bot, which gives you the ability to make commands in chat. You get access to the subscribers only uh, section in uh, the Discord, and you also get what? You get the subscriber bot. You get oh, you get the stake emote. So I have, I'm as an affiliate, I'm allowed a minimal amount of emotes, but I get one emote for you folks. So you get the, the stake emote to slap everywhere. Um, also, I do something special uh, the last Friday of every month for my subscribers. Um, this month, I'm not quite sure what it'll be. I think I'm going to change it a little bit. Um, and uh, I think that's it. I will be... Oh, wait. Uh, let me thank those, my subscribers, because they're, they're kind folks. Uh, so in no particular order, it is that Bluestone, Nyx Rod, A Literal Train, Smith, New Obj, Dr. Kegel, Glass Casket TV, Nymphius, Drake, and I think uh, my new one was... Uh, what's... Oh. It's on the tip of my tongue. It is, uh, it is, it's No Field, I believe. I believe No Field is my newest subscriber, which is amazing. Yeah, so again, also another point of, uh, point of uh, interest is I'll be at PAX. So if you are there and you want to hang out, uh, hit me up. We'll get coffee or something. All right, folks, I will be back tomorrow for lunch break roguelike at noon. See ya. Nope, wrong transition. Let's say bye-bye.